Hello, welcome to Guru Focus. This is the seventh episode of Mastering the Guru Focus Set, a series designed to help you learn your way around at gurufocus.com. In this episode, My Portfolio, Your Portfolio, we will be going over some of the more difficult to find tools on the Guru Focus site, such as the checklists, stock baskets, and the My Portfolios feature. These may not be the first things that jump out to new users, but they can still be incredibly useful. First, let's take a look at the checklist feature, which you can find by going to the stock summary page and then going to the checklist tab over here. The checklist allows you to rate stocks based on a certain set of predefined criteria. You can either choose from Guru Focus's list of predefined checklists, checklists generated by other users, or create your own based on adding or subtracting different features from templates. So you see here, when you create your own checklist, you can delete or add things as you would like. You can also find the baskets feature on this page. Based on Warren Buffett and Charlie Munger's strategy of putting stocks into different baskets when researching potential investments, the baskets feature allows users to vote on which basket a stock falls into for them, buying, considering, researching, or not interested. The place to vote may be easy to find, but you may not know that the baskets feature also has a tab below where you can find a history of votes and when they were made. Additionally, when you vote on a stock using the baskets feature, the system automatically adds it to a corresponding portfolio in the My Portfolios feature. For example, if I were to vote not interested for Amazon.com, it would automatically add the stock to a corresponding basket under my My Portfolios section. So as you can see here under My Portfolios, it's got the not interested portfolio with all the stocks I have voted as not interested in. If I wanted to change my vote on Amazon.com, I would do that here by simply clicking on the little red X and removing it. Next, let's dive into detail on the My Portfolios feature. This feature helps users build and keep track of hypothetical portfolios. You could even use it to track your real portfolio if you wanted, or to test theories. You can access this feature through the link on the right side of the search bar here, or directly through your user profile page. To create a new portfolio, simply go to the Create New Portfolio button here and follow the instructions. If you need to add a stock after creating the portfolio, you can do so here. To get full use out of the My Portfolios feature, make sure to edit the sections that have the pencil icon in the top left corner, including the quantity bought, the date of the buy, and the cost per share, as well as your own estimate of fair value and any notes. You could also rearrange the categories on the chart by simply clicking and dragging, and you can also add new ones by going to customize this view here and then saving at the bottom. That's all for this video. Next time, we will be doing a rundown on our API features, including the popular Excel add-in, as well as what exactly API is and how it works. Stay tuned. If you want to see more from Guru Focus, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel or find us on social media. Thanks for watching.